with uh, the founding of Fairfax County in 1742, there were already many people living in this area growing tobacco, but they didn't have a good port. And this part of the Potomac River is actually about the last good natural harbor and anchorage before you get to the fall line, which is Great Falls today. There were already a couple of roads coming in here and a tobacco inspection warehouse and an ordinary, kind of a small settlement. Like most English towns in the colonies, the town was laid out in a very simple grid pattern, very highly organized, oriented toward the river, of course. That was where all the goods were coming and going from. And of course, the larger purpose of the town is as that tobacco shipping point and receiving point for manufactured goods. It's a small town, but a bustling little town with a lot of people coming and going, a lot of goods coming and going as well. When Fairfax County is established in 1742, you need a court. Uh, a courthouse is one of the main functions of any uh, county uh, organization and that courthouse was established um, out near where Tyson's Corner is today. But when Alexandria is established as the chief market town and commercial town in Fairfax County, uh, a few years after it's established in 1754, the county court moves here to Alexandria, which makes a lot more sense because this is where a lot of business is being transacted, a lot of those legal documents that have to be uh, processed through the county court are, are handled. And so Alexandria becomes the county seat of Fairfax County instead of what we think of as the center of the county today. A significant uh, shift in at least the history of Alexandria occurs uh, in 1779 and 1780. We get our first mayor and town council, um, and that's when you really see um, things develop on the municipal level that we're more familiar with today, with basic little town functions being handled by appointed officials and things like that. As Alexandria develops as a major commercial center, as a port, as a shipping facility, and grows as a, as a town and then much later a city, Fairfax County does the same and you get other little towns that pop up in other parts of the county which are well known today but barely existed in the 18th century.